Writing ionic chemical formulas is one of the most important things you need to be able to do in chemistry. Here's how it's done. When two ions combine, their charges are going to cancel out. Plus one and minus one cancel out. Plus two and minus two cancel out. Plus three and minus three cancel out. For example, Na plus one and Cl minus one, their charges cancel out, giving a formula of NaCl known as sodium chloride. Calcium is plus two. Oxide is minus two. Therefore, they'll cancel each other out to form the formula calcium oxide. X plus three, Y minus three. Fe is plus three. Phosphate, the polyatomic ion, is minus three. Therefore, they cancel each other out one to one. A polyatomic ion is one particle that remains together when it's put into a compound. The name of this compound is iron 3 phosphate. Why iron 3? Sodium only has one charge listed. Calcium only had one charge listed. But iron? Iron has two charges listed. In this particular compound, iron was plus three, so we need to make sure that we indicate that in the name of our compound. We could have iron two phosphate or iron three phosphate. We happen to have iron three phosphate. X plus two and Y minus one. Now these guys don't cancel each other out. So what you do is ask yourself, how many of the smaller charge do you need to cancel out one of the larger charge? Well, it takes two minus ones to cancel out a plus two, so the formula is X, Y, two. For example, if we happen to have iron plus two, remember iron has two possible charges, this is one of them, and let's say we have fluoride, F minus one, then the formula will be FeF2, because it will take two of the smaller charge to cancel out one of the larger charge. The name of this compound is iron two fluoride. How many of the smaller charges does it take to cancel out one of the larger charge? It takes three minus ones to cancel out a plus three. So the formula will be X, Y, three. For example, if we have aluminum plus three and nitrate minus one, it's going to take three of these nitrates to cancel out one of the aluminums. Al, parentheses, NO3, three. If you have a polyatomic ion and you need to put a number after it, put the polyatomic ion in parentheses and then put the number of those ions outside the parentheses. The name of this compound is aluminum. Now, aluminum only has one charge listed, so you don't need to put a Roman numeral. Nitrate. Now, I wrote phosphate, I wrote nitrate. Where do I get the name of nitrate from? Reference table E, selected polyatomic ions, has all of your polyatomic ions in it. Here's the nitrate ion. NO3 minus, minus one, is nitrate. X is plus one, Y is minus two. Now X is the smaller charge. It takes two plus ones to cancel out a minus two. X two, Y. It takes three plus ones to cancel out a minus three. X three, Y. So for example, if we have potassium, which is plus one, and we have sulfate, which is minus two, how do I know sulfate is minus two? Sulfate, SO4, has a minus two charge, and it's called the sulfate ion. The formula will be K2SO4. Now you don't need to put parentheses around the sulfate because there's only one of them, and we're not gonna be putting a number after it. We have X plus one, and Y minus three. So let's suppose that we have ammonium, NH4 plus one, and as a minus three ion, we have phosphide, P minus three. How do we know that phosphide is minus three? On the non-metal side of the periodic table, the top charge that's listed, the first charge, is the ion charge. Now phosphorus has three charges listed, its ion charge is the top one, minus three. The sulfide ion is minus two. Chlorine looks like it's got a lot of different charges. The only one that's an ion charge is the minus one. The first charge listed is the nonmetal's ion charge. So the formula is NH4, 
three P. We need to put a parentheses around the ammonium because we're putting a number after it. X plus three, Y minus two. That's a little bit more complicated. So what you do is you multiply these two numbers and that will represent the total charge you're gonna end up with when your formula is written. Three times two is six. So we want this to be plus six and this to be minus six. How many plus threes does it take to make plus six? Two of them. How many minus twos does it take to make minus six? Three of them. And the formula is X two, Y three. The same thing goes down here. Two times three is six. We need plus six and minus six when we're done with the formula. It takes three plus twos to make plus six. It takes two minus threes to make minus six. And x3, y2 is our formula. Notice we could do that with any of these. One times two is two. We need this to be plus two. We need that to be minus two. Therefore, we need two plus ones to make that work. So you can apply this rule to any of the ones that we've done before, unless of course the charge is the same, in which case you just cancel them out one to one. So let's say for example that for our plus three ion, we have gold, Au plus three. And Y is the oxide ion, O minus two. Then you end up with Au two O three. Plus six, minus six, and it cancels out. As far as the naming is concerned, K is called potassium. Potassium only has one charge listed, so we don't need a Roman numeral. And SO4 is called sulfate, which you find on reference table E. NH4 is called ammonium. P is called phosphide. AU is called gold. Gold has two charges listed, one and three, and this is the plus three version, so we call this gold three oxide. Let's suppose we have X plus two, and that's copper, Cu plus two. And for Y minus three, we'll use phosphate, PO4 minus three. We're going to need, two times three is six, we're going to need three coppers, and two phosphates. Three times two is six. Two times three is six. Our formula is written. Copper has two charges listed, one and two. This is the plus two version, so this is called copper two. And PO4, PO4 is called phosphate. For our last example, we have plus four and minus two. Well, that's easy. It takes two minus twos to cancel out a plus four. That's a simple one. So that would come out to X, Y, two. For example, PB plus four and S minus two. We would need two minus twos to make a minus four, which is what cancels out a plus four. PB, S, two. Lead is either plus two or plus four, since this is the plus four version, we call this lead four. And S minus two is called sulfide. And those are the basics of formula writing and naming ionic compounds.